Hello everybody and welcome to the Dark Side Detective starring Detective Francis McQueen. I knew we had to play this after we saw him in Coffee Talk and now this is two detective games in one day. Very sneaky, very investigative, I must say so myself. So let's just get started. Let's see, case one, Malice in Wonderland, you say? Ooh, looks like there's six case files in all. So let's get started. Case summary, the chief has sent me to the Jones residence. Dooley is there with further details. Let's go. Malice in Wonderland. Whoa, almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Dooley, you watched me drive up. I had my siren on. You waved at me as I pulled in. I guess this place has me spooked out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP, no details. Seven-year-old kid, Alice, went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be the kind of spooky crap- I mean, the kind of case you're into, detective. Great. Let's get started. Get back in my car. Our trusty squad car. I like to call it the Popo Moto. The what? Alright, I don't want to be your partner anymore. I've decided to leave. Alright, let's just go inside. Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? Uh, that's Detective Francis McQueen, Mr. Jones. He's here to investigate. I see. Twin Lakes finest, eh? Well, you don't look like you're doing much to find your kid, are ya? Nice schooner. Haha, <laughs> you dummy. It's not a schooner, it's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. Oh, Dooley. I hope you don't smoke around your kid. Thankfully, Detective, I am rarely around my kid. You sound like such a great father. Um, do I have to talk to you? How can I help you, Detective? Tell me about Alice. I'll level with you, Detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. You know how children are. Always saying, Daddy, I want to play, stupid child. I don't care. She's seven. <laughs> Exactly! A tedious age, so I leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Where were you last night? Why didn't you notice she was missing? I was... out. How wonderfully shady. Have you got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary, and now you're a suspect. They also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. Fine, call this number. They'll vouch for me. Busty Bells Booty Boutique! Classy stuff. Ah, oh, Bells. Fond memories. Dooley! I mean, uh, where was he? A bell shop? What? You received item. Matches. I'm gonna light you on fire, Dooley. Taking it up, up enough of your time. And I've nothing further to say, detective. Kindly leave me be. That's what you say to your daughter, isn't it? I'm gonna go in the hallway. Click clock. This reminds me of my own grandfather. Your grandfather was a clock? What? No, he had a clock. Shame. Thought I'd finally found out something interesting about you. What? I'm interesting? Whatever you say, detective. I didn't come here to get roasted. I'm here to find a missing child. Alright, closet. This is where I was for 13 years. Box of junk. Hmm, black light bulb. May as well take it. Now all we need is a disco ball, some white clothes, and fat beats. Then we've got ourselves a good night. Good night into finding this kid. You received an item. Black light bulb. Anything else? All the other junk is useless junk. Alright, nothing much. What about study? Locked. I wonder where I'd find the key. Chandelier. One of those crystals is worth more than we get paid in a year. We could take one. You, uh, uh passed the corruption test? Well done, detective. Dooley, you and I are gonna have some words. Oh, I have matches. I didn't realize that was what I was given. All right, um, upstairs, I guess? We have a phone, flowers. A place this fancy deserves something nicer than plastic flowers. If he can't take care of his kid, he's not gonna take care of flowers, McQueen. Telephone? What an odd place for a telephone. They must have run out of places to draw. I mean, put it in. Oh no, Dooley's breaking the fourth wall now. Daughter's bedroom. Oh my. Oh, well, at least there's a wife that cares. I can speak to the teddy? Tell me where she is, bear! I'm only kidding, you don't know. You're only a bear. Stupid know-nothing bear! Fucking bear. 
All right, Mrs. Jones. Hello, can I ask? My baby! My baby is gone! Can you tell me about that? She just disappeared, my baby! Is there anything? You know I have to find her. Goodbye. Find her! Made you sound like a ghost instead of yelling because it is 10 o'clock at night and I can't yell right now. A tree. Hey, I know that tree. It owes me five bucks. A man. A drawing of our suspect. Really? I'll put out an APB. No, Dooley, don't do that. I can't tell if Dooley is actually being this ridiculous or if he's just messing with me. Probably both. Never seen a horse with five legs before. I thought it was a beard. We have an artistic child on our hands. What is it? What is it? Are you scared of ghosts? Pens. This is no time for art, detective. Blacklight. This looks useful. You received a blacklight marker. Oh, and drawers. I don't have much use for a dozen pink socks. Well, well. Why don't you liven up your outfit, detective? Master bedroom. You are the nanny. Uh, that isn't a painting. Hard to believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of all of this has hit her hard. She seems like a sweet kid. Don't worry, we'll find her, detective. I hope so. Bed. A water bed. Very fancy. Looks like something has been kicked under here. No, it doesn't. You received item. Strange page. Huh, you are now suspicion. Tell me about Alice. She's spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. N oh my god. Nanny McFiend. Instead of Nanny McPhee, it's Nanny McFiend. But that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. What's the nanny doing in the master bedroom? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No siree. How long have you been working for the Joneses? Joneses, detective. Even though it ends with an S, you still pluralize it. Ah, see? You're already too late, Dooley. I corrected the grammar mistake before you did. Is now really the best time? It's always a good time for grammar. I agree, Dooley. Anyway, answer the question. Long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. I totally believe you, McFiend. Say, you're the nanny. The very innocent nanny, yes. Do you have keys for the various rooms? I am a nanny, not a maid. Right, but do you? Yes. May I have the key to the study then? Sure, there's nothing incriminating in there anyway. You are throwing some weird vibes my way. We're done here for now. I'll get back to work and nothing else. Family photo. Alice and her mom look quite happy here. Ah, the dad's not in it. Of course not. Seems impolite to go rifling around in somebody's drawers uninvited. Who are- why are you judging me? I'm doing my job. Alright, well, let me- let me look at this strange page real quick. It's a peculiar pattern from the Occult for Dummies book. Alright then. Well, I have the study key. And hey, presto, we're in! That is not a dog. I don't know what that is, but it's not a dog. Roy Jones, Esquire, takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. Let's see. Lantern? An oil lantern seems to have some oil left, too. You received item. Lantern. Dog statue. This statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. Bookshelf. A nice collection of books. The dust suggests they've not been looked at in a long time. For shame. Magazine stack. It's a magazine collection. Jeez, this guy is obsessed with jugs. Jugs! <laughs> jugs weekly. Oh, fuck! Look at those jugs! Armchair. Hey, I just realized there are only two seats in this entire house. Don't be daft, Dooley. There are more. They're just off camera. Hmm. Alright, well, I've got a lantern. What if I take this bulb, put it in the lantern? That's a rookie mistake. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, an old oil lantern. Can I use it? The label says for use under blacklight. Blacklight bulb for blacklighting things. Hmm. Hang on. We need a light. Oh, the lamp. I need a lamp. Oh, wait, I didn't check the attic. I completely ignored it. What? What? Paint thinner? The paint thinner fell when the shelf gave way. Not much left in it now. You received an item, paint thinner. Broken shelf. 
Looks like this gave way recently, spilling paint thinner all over the wall. Boxes. Just a bunch of forgotten memories. Paint cans. Looks heavy enough to knock somebody out cold. Boxes. Box marked Anne's broken dreams. My dreams died a long time ago. How long ago? How old are you? <laughs> broken lamp. Hmm, okay. Not be broken after all. Just a blown bulb. A brawl alone bulb, you say? Hope this doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. What the hell? Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. Dark side doorway. Okay, I seem to have everything I need. Let's get down to some spooky hijinks and redraw those missing symbols. Ah. Let's see, we need... We need this. This. And this. That should be it. Great. Maybe now's a good time to stop doing, well, anything really. What do you mean anything? Let's go! Even I'm not foolish enough to go in there with no light. We have a lantern and paint thinner. Seems like a bad idea to me. Lantern. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. Should probably light this thing, you know, just in case. Received an item, lit lantern. All right, now let's go. Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No offense, detective, but I'm going nowhere near that creep fest. I'll uh, stand guard out here. Alice, hello. Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. Good, I'm hungry and the sounds from downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Come on, Alice. Let's go. Crash, bang! Not so fast, detective. Oh my god, she's got a gun. Where's Dooley? That idiot, I knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around here anymore, so I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after her, especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say, for example, getting they are getting trapped in the dark side's version of their bedroom. It's where they'd be now if Alice hadn't gotten into my stuff and stupidly trapped herself up here. I figured it'd be best to lay low until you were gone. I thought you'd have given up by now. What kind of cop would give up on a missing kid? Most of the TLPD. Ah, uh, you're right. Sadly fair. So what is this, an inheritance scheme? You have to admit it's a fairly perfect crime. It is, actually. You just got picked the wrong detective for the job. Even if you get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. Once Dooley wakes, you and your scheme will be done for. Hmm, good point. I'll just have to get you to drag him in here with me. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Okay, now drag your friend over there. And no funny business. Hmm, I need to knock over the paint can. I knew the paint ca cans were heavy enough to knock someone out. Paint thinner? It's paint thinner. It thins paint, not evil nannies. Dang it. Dooley. Get up, Dooley. 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 Alice. I'm scared, mister. It'll be okay, kiddo. What should I do? <laughs> uh. Down! One more step and I'll shoot, detective. Now get hauling. Hmm. Wait! Dooley, wake up! Oh no, not on my watch. Have a taste of your own medicine, yes! No! Bada bing, bada boom! Well, that's problem solved. Come on, Alice. Let's wake up Dooley so I can tell him my pun. Pretend it's the first time you heard it, okay? Um, okay, mister. This child has been traumatized, but I want her to giggle at my joke. So the kid got into the nanny stuff, and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic? The dark side, but that's a su surprisingly succinct summary of things, yes. Shame the nanny was certifiable. She was the looker. Her name was Nanny McFiend, Dooley. It was in her name. Dooley, she was dabbling in the dark arts. With a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world. Kidnap their kid, and steal all of their cash. I said it was a shame, jeez. 
I wonder where the nanny got the occult books from anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. Case for another day, I guess. First of all, we have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. Hmm. Case closed. Problem solvent. Ooh, I like this game so far. It looks, I don't know how short all of these will be, but I'm liking it so far and I do know there's a sequel, so I'm excited to play some more. Oh, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. But until then, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourselves, keep your paint thinner ready, and have a good day.